It's muscle milk, protein for everybody. Does it spike your blood sugar like people say? And are the added ingredients actually bad for you? To the ingredients list. Firstly, water, an essential element of life. Calcium caseinate, a milk derivative and food thickener that adds calcium as well as protein to a food. There is no health risk associated with calcium caseinate. Milk protein isolate, similar to casein, however isolate contains very little fats or carbohydrates. Important to note, it does not have lactose. Sodium caseinate is a protein milk derivative, along with salt, helps to easily mix liquids and does not have any negative health effects, although it may pose problems for those with a lactose allergy. Alkalized cocoa powder, also called Dutch cocoa, helps neutralize the acidity and it's perfectly healthy. Next, resistant maltodextrin is a dietary fiber that comes from corn. It serves as a sugar substitute and helps the body maintain a regular digestive flow. And natural flavors come from anything plant or animal related. Artificial flavors include flavors made in laboratories. Next, sunflower oil is pressed from sunflower seeds. The oil is higher in polyunsaturated fats, which are good for you, and very low in bad saturated fats. And canola oil, which comes from the crushed seeds of canola plant, and it's perfectly healthy for you. Next, dipotassium phosphate is an emulsifier that does not accumulate in your body and is generally regarded as safe. Next, magnesium phosphate, a vital mineral that aids in muscle and nerve function. Cellulose gel is a harmless additive used to extend the shelf life of foods. Potassium chloride is a replacement of salt. It's safe to eat. Sodium hexametaphosphate is used as a thickening agent in food. It is safe to eat, however, it should be avoided in those with kidney diseases, as it may cause unwanted side effects. Next, carrageenan is another thickening agent that derives from red seaweed. Potassium citrate is a pH buffer used to preserve beverages. Next, salt. The average 11-ounce bottle contains 10% of the daily recommended allowance. And medium-chain triglycerides, or fats, are added to the drink to increase flavor, stability, and cloudy appearance of drinks. It's perfectly healthy. Next, sucralose is what we know commercially as Splenda. The long-term effects of Splenda are unknown, however, cooking with sucralose at high temps can produce toxic compounds. Sucralose has been associated with weight gain, leaky gut syndrome, IBS, and diabetes. Similar to Splenda, ace sulfame potassium is a sweetener. FDA says it's safe, but some scientists suggest it leads to cancer, arthritis, and disrupts gut bacteria. It is unclear whether this is healthy. It's best to stick to the daily recommended allowance of 15 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. Next, sodium phosphate, a thickening agent. The low amount added to beverages are safe. Absorbic acid, or vitamin C, serves as an antioxidant in the body. It is responsible for growth, development, and repair of the body systems. Next, vitamin A palmitate is a vitamin A that derives from animal products. Consuming less than 3,000 micrograms helps maintain healthy eyesight and skin function. Next, vitamin D, which aids in the absorption of calcium. How often would you drink muscle milk? I'm curious to know your thoughts. As for me and my health, I would prefer a protein without artificial sweeteners, but I would have no problem drinking muscle milk regularly.